yourself. <laughs> You're going to be crossing over at the second If you have an iPad or an iPhone and you... Just landed in Dublin in this massive plane. Whoa. So that was my seat. And let's trek through this massive plane. Still going. Seats for days. Just landed, super excited. I'm gonna go get my car. Made it through immigration. Now we're just going to the rental place, gonna pick up the car and be on our way. Hit the fan, yet I still can just unwind. Young and fly, Riley Francis, eating a mud pie, jumping lines. Ivy dyslexic while staying up at night. Summertime, lively and in session when I'm busting rhymes. Something like a hundred bars, never you listen from my heart. They strenuously come apart, eventually it turns to art. You best believe I earned the part, yeah. Now from the hurt, I depart. I was disturbed by and large. You messed me and in return, all you'll get is dirty remarks. Okay, got the rental car. As you can see, I'm on the right side of the vehicle. The shifter, leave my left hand. I think all the feet pedal are the same. But yeah, this is gonna be intense. Gonna find my way up north, stop in Belfast for lunch. Okay. We are now on the road. Driving on the left side of the road and the right side of the vehicle. <laughs> this is wild, first day in Dublin. We're trying to head to uh, Belfast for the day. Okay, we're just following the signs here, which is epic. Uh, I know a lot of people like to get GPSs and whatnot, but for me, look at a map and follow the signs. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow the M1 all the way to Belfast and stop there. I made it to Belfast. I uh, got lost quite a bit, ended up at a Starbucks somehow, and then just down the road from some awesome restaurants. Uh, I had this unreal duck, followed by a main course of chicken with mashed potatoes and fried onions, and sweet potato fries, and to top it all off, a sundae. Unbelievable food. But this city is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, check it out. So you get a lot of stone structures like that. That's what makes it so beautiful, everything is unique. Uh, I'm gonna try and head to the Giant's Causeway now and see if I can get there, it's about an hour drive. Uh, it's been really weird driving on the other side of the road. Uh, I only went on the wrong side once, so that's not too bad. But we're doing well, really enjoying it. And it's only day one. Cool thing about this car rental, it came with a map. We started in Dublin, went all the way up to Belfast and grabbed lunch, and continued our way all the way north to one of the northernmost points in Northern Ireland, all the way down to the Giant's Causeway. And the Giant's Causeway, for those of you who haven't seen it, you gotta check this out. This is unbelievable. With all this knowledge, I'm feeling so nostalgic. Pulling out my old skateboard, it's time to haul quick. I've fallen a few times, but to me, they're all wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I've never seen anything like this before. I'm gonna keep going and hopefully see some more cool stuff, but wow, absolutely stunning. Last few steps and we made it. Holy jeez. I'm exhausted, but totally worth it. I'm just in awe of this place. I really wish I, I, really wish I had more time, but it's getting dark. I gotta get back to Dublin, drop off the rental car, and it's Halloween tomorrow. So we're gonna party hard. But man, is this gorgeous. Can you just see how green this grass is? It's greener than anything I've ever seen before. Like, ha, huh, the most greenest green ever. It's gorgeous. But time to head out from the Giant's Causeway. I'm gonna go jump in the car, get some gas, some fuel, some food and try and make your way back to the Dublin airport, drop off the car, and catch a bus into the city. Hopefully check into my, oop, don't want to drop that. Check into my hostel, and we'll be set. Marks, but maybe hurting your mental like I was hurling, where darts or the verses are sharp, leaving some hurt.